Poland. Please help out. Okay, you have zero sage, pick you of two sage, and you go to Osterov with Jakob Rob. Ah, going again is now Prussian. Beautiful. I believe I'm converting Revel right now. Oh, and you date. Uh, let's add mothbody ships. You date is going to eat it. You can regret constantly carrying war on me. Sweden shouldn't do anything though. Double check, Lithuania should have. Well, should have no interest, is what I was about to say. Well, I'm gonna let them deal with this. Numbers wise, we are numbering them slightly. That's not a good battle. But hopefully, with the rival reinforcements, it becomes a good battle. Oh, I love clicking extend loan. It's so much fun. Okay, Swedes, stay out. Protestant minister. The Protestant faithful have watched the rise of our statesman Svatoslav Nost. Okay, let's try this again. Svatoslav Nostrovesti with both interest and enthusiasm. To many, he has become proof that it is possible for someone to do well within the Livonian state, despite not belonging to the state religion. <laughs> One day, you might all rise to be like Mr. Protestant, because all of you <laughs> shall become Catholic one day. Okay, that made absolutely no sense. But the point is, how the heck do you pronounce that name? Svyaslav Novedresti. I bet someone out there is cringing at my pronunciation right now. Someone must be, because that was horrendous. Even I feel bad for that pronunciation. Okay, uh, Novgorod, you don't get to be disloyal. So st stop doing that. And Danes, you don't get to be here either. Hmm, I hope that they're going to give that over to me. Ah, Poles. Thank you, Poland. Let me help out here. Yes, get out of here, silly pop, silly Danes. <laughs> ah, Piscov is down. Excellent. Naturally, North Cross paying for that. Naturally, how this works. Let's see if we can release a force at uh, the CJ cargo pole. That general's pretty bad. City Danes. Why are we losing so much money? What reinforcement cost, I guess? Only 4%. Okay, it's not actually progressing anymore. It's unfortunate. Uh, we have to unseage all of this. Don't tell me. Okay, no. I was about to say, don't tell me you removed that fort I built for you, but no, that fort is cargo pool. Okay, well. That doesn't look so good. Poles, please don't walk into Swedish territory. It's not good for your health. Let's move over here. And is it occupied by me? It is. Good. Slow the game down a little bit. I still need to make sure that Novgorod is integrated because I can't keep. Um, Placating them is getting very expensive. Uh, you guys can actually head back here. Still 94. You go there, you go there. You guys will go relieve the siege of Vyborg. Or at least help out because that's a lot of reinforcements on the way. And when I say a lot of reinforcements, I mean a lot. Okay, good, you won. That's good. That means Norwegians don't get to uh, reinforce that um, battle. That doesn't look so good. Come on, Lithuania. You have a huge army. Make use of it. Damn it, that's really bad. <laughs> You're losing battles left, right, and center. Oh, well. Things should work out soon enough. Once I can actually focus my troops down south, because Novgorod... 
Like, one of the problems is I need to make sure Novgorod doesn't get occupied. I need to integrate Novgorod. It's 95% already. It's so close. It's so t close. I can taste this. We are straight to priority, so that's a good news. No, no, no. No, you don't. Go away, Norway. Norway? Please don't tell me that's port integration. Oh, and also, uh, what I do with you? Hey, Saxony. Let's keep improving with you. That's what, Hungary? I don't know what to even do with Hungary. <laughs> I really should be breaking alliance with them. Hmm, 96%. I wasn't paying attention there. Did it get paused? 96 goes to... 96, damn it, they get paused. And this is a really bad battle for us. Damn it, I just want to integrate Novgorod, damn it. <laughs> That's too much to ask for. Oh, shoot. That's not so good, is it? Kirkassia wants peace. Oh, Kirkassia, the OPM. Yes. Well, Kirkassia... Let me show you how this works. Give me your cash and force your religion. And no, you can keep your cords here, I don't really care. Do we win this battle? Well, technically I don't win the battle. The Poles did. Thank you, Poland. Uh okay, what's this? Religious devotion. Gain 50 admin. That's nice. Uh, well, where's my armies? Hopefully Novgorod goes and reoccupies that for me. That's a lot of pose. Can't say I'm particularly amused. Urbanization, pay a little bit of money, gain a lot of base tax in a lot of places. I believe Bergens can contribute to this. Excellent. Things are looking well so far, except for Vyborg. Let me see that down. Luckily for me, looks like the Poles are on the job. Let's do this, Poland. Now, please tell me you have a leader. Lithuania has a 1 4 3. Not bad. Good enough. I'm a Lithuania. And fortunately for us, that Norwegian army is walking away. So we have to go see Shrek Kolo, so it looks like... Yeah, it looks like Novgorod's way on the job. And see? Novgorod can uh, get an army together when the need arises. Still 96%. See so if we can smash this Norwegian army. Kazan has announced me as a new rival. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Still losing money. Guess I can't be helped. Cool. Am I paying for any force I don't want to be paying for? I don't think so. Okay, it's 97.1% now. Uh, that's going to be a shoot style battle, so let's not go there. Yeah. There's no way Madavi can hold on for long enough. Oh well. Hmm. We should probably reinforce that, although I don't think we need to. Looks like the terrain has got it handled. Okay, well, let's head down south again. It's highly unlikely I have to um, clear occupation in Novgorod again. But man, look at all those Swedes on the border. Okay, this is important though. I want to do this. Exceptional year. Two base production in Kexholm. Okay, where's Kexholm? Here it is. You may I can't change it. Okay. Because I want to turn that over to... Um, what do you call it? Prussian as well. Okay. 
Crimea, that's nice. Cost 37. Trust your neighbors, time minutes, cost goes down. Excellent. And soon we're gonna get extra 11k troops from Novgorod, which would be very handy. Moscow is down. Excellent. Let's give that over to Ryzen. You go down to Ryzen. And you just come down here. Beautiful. Integration is a slow process, I know. Okay, now let's change Kexholm over to Prussian. And let's go ahead and gain two base production. Which is pretty handy because it's fair. Wait, that did gain two base production, right? I'm confused now. Okay, whatever. Um, Army-wise, we're over our force limit, but let's see how long that lasts when we turn some of these into actual states. Um, the next tech is in two years' time, but I could just go ahead and pick this up right now. How many states are we allowed? We're allowed nine states. We're already at our states cap. So that's not so good. Uh, let's go ahead and pick this up because we have so much ammo anyway. We may as well. And let's turn this into a state. The state of Novgorod. Uh, the state of Piskov is not bad. Uh, what else is here? 17, 14. What's the design of that good? It's really just Novgorod state is good. But how many, how many states do we have? Spear right now. We have two states spear. 17 plus 14, alternatively we have 4, okay, this is actually really good, 35 in total, if we took the entire state. But that's not going to happen right now. Whereas, we are going to take Peskov state this war, I believe. I think, maybe what we should do is go for immediate bonuses, so immediate bonuses to grab these two estates, because they're the best. Uh, later on, we can turn other states in two states. I mean, it's free anyway. We've already paid double points. If we don't stay again later, after we destated, it's really not a big deal. So let's go ahead and turn this into a state, and this into a state. I think it's probably the best choice right now. Uh, let's go ahead and give the clergy some land. Because they always need more land. Um, I'm still saying about Novgorod, though. Still, let's go back to our burgers. Uh, give... Uh, just looking around here, I'm trying to look for places with higher base tax than manpower. Or basically higher base tax than anything else in it to give to a clergy. Okay, let's give these lands, let's give these one ones away as well. Uh, nope, not going to be away that one. Let's take Viborg away. Let's take Revel away, take Goldingen, Metal, and stay and move them all over to here. Clergy is moving out east. Do I even have enough land to give them? Okay, I do. I could... No, I'm not going to revoke any of that. Clergy, you're going to have a couple more provinces. You have this one. Okay, let's not give that to you. Nobility, you can have that. And you can have that. There we go. So all our eastern provinces is now belonging to the clergy and nobility. Isn't that beautiful? We finally have a nation worth looking at. Not just that horrible snake. Now, unfortunately, our force limit won't have gone up that much. So what I'm going to do is wait, let these guys live. Maybe dismiss half of them. Oh wow, we have Strautzi. Awesome. Okay, let's get rid of some of these guys over here. This is just uh, infantry. Okay, I can't dismiss you here. That's unfortunate. Uh, I will dismiss you though. Those infantry, and these are all normal troops. Cool. Revel has been converted over. Excellent. Slowly prussifying this area. Oh, our ears died. Well, that's unfortunate. He was a pretty good ear too, if I remember right. Well. Make Kirkassia like me. Don't care. Who else can I make, try and make happy? I can get a lot of money from the clergy. Uh, not from clergy, from burgers. Let's do that. Three, four, five. Not bad. 
Bernhard von Ringelheim. And that helps us pay off another loan. Thank you, merchants. Oh, we have two free diplomats. Hey, Ryzen, love me. And, um. Uh, oh, Saxony is dying. Defender against Lorraine, the radiant conquest of mines. Does that mean you're fighting like. F oh, God. I was about to say fighting France or something, but then. What the hell is this monster? That is terrifying. Wow. Interesting. Hi, King Charles the Ninth. The Drew? Whatever happened to the De, Val De Valois? The Valois? I don't even say it in French. And England is led by Lancaster. Okay, I wonder what other interesting dynasties I can find. Austria's von Habsburg. You're von Wetten. Anyway, though, um, Saxony is, is not looking too good because you're fighting Austria. That's probably why. I'm confused though. Why are you fighting Austria? Lorraine is into HRE, isn't it? That's Alsace. Yeah, you're Lorraine. You're into HRE. You are to Austria and you're attacking. Oh, that's right. Because Austria's not the emperor. Bohemia is. That's why. I was wondering why Austria is even allowed to join. Because emperor is not allowed to uh, join in uh, any war. Any offensive war against someone in the HRE. Um, so I was just wondering what the heck Austria was doing in that war. Still, that makes sense. Okay, what I'm going to do is then... Maybe I keep kissing up to Austria. I mean, it's not that far off. Who knows, eventually maybe we'll get a foreign noble of von Habsburg that makes Austria love me. That would be very handy. Our air is just... Fair enough. How's the Danes feel about this war? Don't care. Ban pilgrimages, uh, lose prestige or lose devotion. I don't want to lose prestige. I don't want to lose devotion. I can afford lose. De oh well, let's lose prestige. I want to have positive prestige for once. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, force limit is now. Are we now five over? So we need to roll five more. Okay, that can be arranged. Roll five infantry from here. Uh, whoops, be careful how I do this. I don't want to just miss the wrong thing. And let's get these 10 down here. Poles, I don't need you to go find Swedes. Swedes are neutral in this. I know they're in the war, but they're neutral, okay? Uh, Northgardian Separatists. Uh-oh. Hey, Poles, do you mind helping out here? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, you guys, let's go deal with some Northgardian Separatists. I wish I could tell... Like the AI to just ignore the Swedes. I like don't even try to invade Sweden. It's just not worth it. Oh, thanks, Lithuania. How nice of you. Numbers wise, we're still ahead. By a certain margin, I guess. Using four ducats a month. To what exactly? I mean, I'm not reinforcing anymore, so what am I losing this money to? Army maintenance? I mean, I'm not over my force limit, so what the heck's going on here? Why is my income so low? Well, what I could do is get rid of you. I don't really need you, but at the same time, you are half price, and I do need to catch up in Diplotech, amongst other things. I'll keep you, though. Losing four ducats a month. And Lithuania still does not have any new forts. It's really unfortunate. Okay, let's go kill these separatists. And then we'll swing around and kill those. 14, 4, 3. Seems like a decent enough army. Twelve ducats a month now. Seems a little extreme. Maybe it's just me. Twelve ducats a month. Okay, I can't just let it stand. 
one year. Shit. Take 11, take 11, take 11, 11, 12. Shit, 12 is a huge tech. Oh god, what am I supposed to do? What I can do for now. Give me some depth level points. Ah, but seriously. This is troubling. That's so expensive. You know what? If I have to take an extra loan, so be it. So be it. I have a water wind. Rise ants down. Rise ants down. Okay, let's go to Yaroslav. And Rise Ant, you can pay for your own goddamn X capital. <sighs> uh, this seems like a bad battle that I'm walking into. Let's go this way instead. Well, it looks like Lithuania's on the case already. I don't have any forts up here. I'm going to have to build another fort. Um, probably in White Corelli, I think. Taking a loan, so be it. What are you doing? You're going to cargo pool. Well, he's just gonna die the other Thank you for feeding us, Muscovy. Beautiful. How much water have we got for bows? Plus 40 already. Fortunately, Denmark is still very enthusiastic. <laughs> Can't understand why they are. They shouldn't be so enthusiastic, surely. Oh well, uh, how's my... How's my favors looking? Almost back at 10 again. Excellent, which means... Surely after... The truce is up with Muscovy, I can just call Poland again. Prospering times. Okay, where's Lidgallon? Down here. Well... Let's go ahead and change to Prussian, and let's say we want some extra military power. Because we certainly want the extra military tech, it's going to make a huge difference. Hmm. That's not a battle I like. Okay, where are you going? You're going to Kexholm as well. I don't like this battle. Let them come to Vyborg. Let them lock themselves in. Now let's fight. Follow my terms, you bastard. <sighs> Much better. But those their extra tactics is killing me. Literally killing me. Lithuania, come. <laughs> Save the day. 21st. Yes! Man, Danes are not to be underestimated right now. They have an extra tech advantage, and this is probably the most important tech, or one of the most important techs. I just can't get the next upgrade. Damn. Can we get to mainland Denmark? We cannot. That's part of the problem. We can get to here. I could potentially get military access through Pomerania. Mecklenburg. Why are they so enthusiastic? It's just silly. Okay, I'll see if I can march the army westwards. See if I can force Denmark out. Because if they get out, Muscovy won't be able to stay in at all. The real problem is the fact that Danes are still insisting on being in this war. They are inflating the numbers for no good reason. And man, Walk is killing me. I don't want to spend double points on this. I have to, I think. Otherwise, it's just getting way too high. Okay, Yaroslav is down. Let's give this over to uh, Ryzen as well. And let's go ahead and try to siege down Nishni Novgorod. Our manpower is almost drained. Let's bring you home. See if we can get some military access going. Much extra from Pomerania. Good. As for much extra from Brandenburg. And yes, I have to spend extra extra double points for this. Oh well. Gotta do what you gotta do. 
extra military access from Mecklenburg. And then all we need left is loop back. Okay. Let's get up to coding. I don't have the fleet to destroy their fleet. But oh well. Let's cancel military access with Pomerania once I can. Is this enough troops? I hope it is. It probably isn't, but we'll see how it goes. It's possibly suicide as well. Cancel all these military accesses. But the data currently busy on the east. Can't have much access with Mecklenburg because I really don't want to uh, pay for extra diplomatic relations. Call me a cheap ass if you will. Uh, I don't like this though. That looks pretty bad. Our Grand Captain is dead. That's also not so good. Let's get this guy. Extra free discipline. Uh, hopefully Poland's going to go relieve their own capital because that will be most helpful. Uh, what I'm also going to do. I see Danes are retreating. That's actually not necessarily a good thing. Have you guys take uh, Slavsvik and Holstein? Muscovy wants out. Not a chance, not yet. Denmark is on medium. Those bastards. I wish I could actually take something from them, but until I actually build a proper fleet, it's just not going to happen. Okay, Slavsvik is down. I hate these stains so much. 1724 for white piece. And I see they're coming back westwards. Seventy percent Muscovy. Military divided. Keep giving me siege ability. I need that siege ability. I know the data coming back this way. Must give me one's peace. Question. How quickly can you get over here if you could? Arrive on the 12th. Around the 14th. Hmm. Which means it could surprise me here. Although, honestly, if it show up nowhere, it won't be that much, of, that much of a surprise. Still, I want these provinces. I want this. And... Let's finally cut this off properly now. I'm going to cut off here. Castoroma. Although, heck, I guess one way of cutting it off is simply by just taking the land like this. That's one way of doing it. And wherever that province is, that keeps you nice and contained. I don't even have to take all the Russian land first. I'll call all this myself. I have plenty of admin. Uh, let's see if we can find that province. Uh, what would that even be called, I wonder? Well, an easy way of doing this, although by easy I mean not so easy, is by clicking on every single one of these and see uh, which one will finally highlight it. I don't want Holstein, not Kasimov, not Kalema. It's kind of annoying having to do this. Okay, there we go, I found it. So, that basically cuts off Moscow from the outside world. I could fully cut them off by taking this land down here as well. But no, let's focus on what's important. And I guess what's important is probably not that. Let's see if we can take another fort. Ryzen is a pretty good fort. And we can give that to Ryzen. I'll start integrating Ryzen as well. And maybe I'll see if I can release Nishni Novgorod out of one of these provinces. Nishni can be released out of this province here. There, 99% is what I want. Demanding Ostrov without occupying any forts. Ostrov. I'm sorry? Demanding Ostrov. What are we talking about? I have occupied forts. Os Ostrov? Am I confused here? Oh, Peskov is being resieged back. I see how it is. Well, I'll deal with that in due time. In the meantime, this is a must-have. 
I'm gonna park these troops together just in case. <laughs> yeah, that's why I thought Danes get lost. You don't belong here. Okay, what's gonna be like by Unka? I'm gonna have to reoccupy Ost uh, Peskov over here. So I want to link this land up again. Kind of important. Hmm. Lithuania, please don't do that. Wow, this force taking forever. Livonian separatists and Wenden. <sighs> okay, good. Poland's got their capital back. Helpful. Okay, Nestor Novgorod stands. Go ahead and give that over to uh, Ryzen. See if we can take back Peskov. Okay. Still won't say yes. It's bastardly Dane. There's nothing worse than a Dane. Seriously. Okay, Holy War against Shirvan. Interesting. And oh, no guy used to be here. How is Dane's feeling? Not too good, apparently. They won't give me money, though. How much money do you even have? Considering how much money I gave you. You don't have that much money. You spent all the money I gave you. Bastards. And wow, look at that war enthusiasm. Uh, not enthusiasm. Exhaustion. <laughs> Close enough, right? Okay, whatever. I want you out of this war. Let's see how much I can get off you. Not much at all. Whatever. Just get lost. Stupid Denmark. 99%. Okay, let's piece you out now. Um, I'm going to be give, taking this land for myself. Thank you very much. I'm letting them keep Moscow. I don't mind their capital staying where it is right now. So, uh, Ryazan. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I could take... Do you want some? Oh, I still need to take Piscoff. You know what? I'll take Piscoff next time. There. So instead, why don't I just take this and how? There's no reason not to take this stuff down here, is there? Seals them off nicely. So now no one can take the rest of Muscovy. I'm the only one they. Well, not quite true. Lithuania still borders Ostrov and Rezhev, but ignoring that. I guess I could take Samara as well. If I were to take one as province somewhere. Say... Yelets. Yeah, that looks good. That looks... Damn good. Okay, is there anything else I want? I could release Perm from this. Release Perm. Um... Is Ottomans still... They still are defending the Sunni faith. <laughs> Ottoman rulers cruel. Funny. <sighs> okay, well... I guess that looks good. I don't know if I actually want to release Perm or not. I also don't know if I want to release Nishri Novgorod or not. Because I do have the admin to core a lot of this land anyway. But I will have massive overextension, so I pretty much have to release something. Yeah, we'll release Perm. I like Perm. Perm's pretty cool. That looks good. Hope I didn't screw it up. Cool, 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 cool. Ryzen. Yeah. You can have Oka back and you can have Ryzen. Okay, what else can I do? Well, like I said, I could release Perm. We have no spear diplo relations. Why is that? Military access from Lubeck, okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and release Perm. Beautiful. And you know what? Screw releasing the Shinov Grod. This was fine. Yeah, this is fine. 
This is perfectly fine. Um, I don't really want these problems down here though, so... Even though it doesn't make much sense giving these to him. Rise and... Well, I say to him... Okay, no, just give it to Rise and whatever. It's not like I can even call it right now anyway until I call these two, so... Let's go ahead and give you this province, give you this province down here, and give you this province down here. Cool, okay, and now we just have to recover again. Kazan's obviously not too happy with us. Um, Perm has a permanent call on Perm. We could declare war on Kazan with a reconquest, but I'm not in a position to do that right now, even though Ottomans won't answer the Defender of the Faith call. I don't really want to deal with that. I'm actually am a little annoyed that this is a thing, but... Oh well, it's, it's gonna be really ugly, there's nothing I can do about it. Still, that's what we've got to deal with. We only have these provinces left to call. Why can't I call this? Oh, because of Perm. Well, let's call the rest of them, and I'll call this once I am allowed to. Kazani. Meh. This is fine. Okay, cool. I think with that, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time for more of the Boulder Crusader as Livonian Order. Until then, see you later.